Hello, anatomy friends. This is Dr. Alsup, and welcome to station number seven, which is going to be our last station regarding joints of the upper limb. And we already discussed the digits of the um, intercarpal digits as well as the digits between the metacarpals and phalanges. So that only leaves the radiocarpal or the wrist joint to discuss. And recall that the radiocarpal joint is a condyloid type of joint. It is going to uh, form by the articulation of the distal radius with the proximal row of carpal bones. So three out of the four of that proximal row of carpal bones. The pisiform is going to lie in a different plane anterior to the other carpal bone. So it is not directly related to the radiocarpal joint. Same thing with the ulna. The ulna does not directly articulate with the carpal bones, but it will be an attachment point for the ulnar collateral ligament, which you can see here in light uh, orange. And recall, you had an ulnar collateral ligament of the elbow, so you need to make sure that you are specific in terms of your descriptions of these collateral ligaments. It's either the ulnar collateral ligament of the radiocarpal joint or the ulnar collateral ligament of the elbow or humeral ulnar joint. So this ulnar collateral ligament is extending from the ulnar styloid process to the trichetrum. That trichetrum is one of the more medial of the carpal bones in that proximal row. And then shaded here in yellow is going to be the radial collateral ligament, which is going to extend from the radial styloid process down to the scaphoid, so that lateral most uh, carpal bone of the proximal row of carpals. Now this big uh, ligament right here, I'm not going to have you um, identify, but just uh, so you know, because it's actually covering all the carpal bones, so we can't quite see these here. This is going to cover the anterior portion of the articular capsule as well. And this is the palmar radiocarpal ligament, and this will um, cover both the... Um, both the proximal row as well as the distal row of the carpal bones. So it's a fairly prominent um, wide ligament that's associated with the anterior portion of the articular capsule of the radiocarpal joint. All right, excellent. So those are the hits when we're talking about the radiocarpal joint. Now let's get in to some muscles of the upper limb. I'll see you at the next station.